Welcome back to this video lecture series on programming questions for placement preparation. So today the problem we are going to see is known as stock buy sell to maximize profit problem. So let's have a look at the problem statement first. It says given an array constituted with stock prices of consecutive days starting from day 0. Find out the days for buying and selling stocks to ensure maximum profit. So let's take an example of this array where the array elements are 90, 130, 170, 380, 350 and 410. So these all are the stock prices of consecutive days starting from day 0, then 1, day 2, day 3 and like that day 6. What we have to do is we need to find the days on which we should buy the stock and we should sell the stock so that the profit is maximized so uh, if the given error is this the output should be the first buy day will be 0 then the sell day will be 3 then again the buy day will be 4 and the sell day will be 6 so uh, let's have a look at the approach uh, for bringing out the solution for this problem so we basically maintain and create a structure called day which will store the buy and sell days we will initialize a count with 0 that will track the number of buy sell then we will iterate through the array now the aim for the iteration we will find the local minima and assign it to the buy day of the current counted day so if the count is 0 then for the 0th day uh, we will assign the local minima and we will find again local maximum and assign it to the sell day now lastly we will print the values of buy and sell days of each of the count number of days so basically the number of buy sell uh, will be you know tracked or stored for the by this uh, count variable and we will print this uh, buy sell days for count number of times so uh, let's jump on to the programming part and see how we can code it out so here I have already typed down number of uh, lines of codes here I have taken the array and I have gotten the size of the array so now I will invoke a function that is maximize profit I'll name it and I'll pass this array and its size so let me just define it here the return type void so the arguments here are an integer type of array and the size of the array which is of integer type so before defining we will have to take a structure which will store the buy and sell days so uh, i'll name it struct day and in here what i'm going to store is the buy day and another will be the sell day right so the base condition is that if number of elements in the array is one then no point of uh, you know doing this because for having a profit we must have to have a buy and also a sell so if we have only one element then we do not have a buy sell condition so that is the base condition now what we will do is that we'll take a count variable which will keep track of the number of buy and sell now we will take an array of uh, this type okay struct day where we'll take an array of this structures so struct days i'll name it days and the size will be n by 2 plus 1 because you see if we uh, see the buy sell as a pair then for n elements the maximum number of possible such pairs will be n by 2 plus 1 so this will be uh, you know this size will be enough for actually uh, you know having all those buy sell deals we will be having in the given number of days that is n now we'll take an i is equal to 0 which will help to iterate through the loop so i'll give the condition while i is 
less than n now inside the while loop what we are going to do we are going to find the local minima so for that the condition will be while i is less than n minus 1 and we will see if we have a less you know lesser stock price in the next day then we will like to you know buy that on the next day so while i is less than n minus 1 and array of i plus 1 is less than is equal to array of i we will do this i plus plus now while doing that if we see that if i becomes the last element then we'll break the loop because then you know if the prices of the stocks keeps on decreasing then there's no point in buy selling so now if we do not have this condition that if i is not equals to n minus 1 we'll go forward and what we'll do is we'll take this days days of count dot will buy it so buy day is equal to i plus plus after that we will try to find the local maxima so for that if i is less than n and array of i minus 1 is greater than is equal to array of i so you know it means that the current i th index at which i am i can see that the you know price is greater than on the i minus 1th index so i'll try to sell on a day which will have you know more price so i'll i plus plus and in the days of count dot sell day is equal to i minus 1 lastly i'll be incrementing this count okay so one thing uh, let me just rename it to count days now out of the loop if we see that the count days is equals to zero then we'll print down no buy sell otherwise for int i is equals to 0 i less than equals to count is i plus plus will print see out by day then it will be days of i dot by day and tab and then I'll say sell day days of i dot sell day and uh, end line right so that will be it. So, okay before running one thing that here actually the logic is not right so it will be array of i is greater than or equals to array of i minus 1 great then so let's run this code so here is the output 
and it says by day 0 cell day 3 and then by day 4 and cell day 6 so if you remember we took the exact example of uh, that we had taken in the slide and we expected that output should be this so this is what we have got so this was the problem of uh, stock buy sell to maximize profit and we got to know that how we should be having an approach to solve this problem thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time